Hello and welcome to another lecture on integrals. Today we shall be discussing about fundamental theorem of integral calculus. Later we are going to find the method for evaluation of definite integrals. And finally we shall conclude by discussing a numerical problem that would be based on determining the value of a given definite integral. Now starting with the fundamental theorem of integral calculus which states that if phi x is the primitive or antiderivative of a continuous function fx defined on the interval a b that is differentiation of phi x is equal to fx then the definite integral of fx over interval a b is denoted by integral with limit a to b fx dx and is equal to phi b minus phi a the numbers a and b are called the limits of integration. a is called the lower limit and b is called the upper limit. The interval ab is said to be the interval of integration. While evaluating definite integrals, one thing to be noted is that there is no need to keep the integration constant that is c while evaluating definite integrals. Next we are going to discuss the steps or the algorithm involved in evaluation of definite integrals. In order to evaluate the definite integral of the type with limits a and b fx dx the first step involved is to integrate fx with respect to x and there is no need to keep the constant of integration c. In the above result obtained by integrating fx with respect to x First substitute x equal to upper limit b and then substitute x equal to lower limit a. And finally subtract the second result from the first one. The substrand is the required value of the definite integral. Following these three steps we can evaluate the value of a definite integral. Next we are going to discuss some numerical problems that would be based on finding the value of definite integrals. Now in the given problem we are required to evaluate the value of integral with lower limit 2 and upper limit 3 x divided by x square plus 1 with respect to x. The first step required to evaluate this definite integral is to integrate fx with respect to x where x fx is equal to x divided by x square plus 1. Thus integral of x divided by x square plus 1 dx is obtained by the use of method of substitution of integration. Here we suppose that x square plus 1 is equal to t. This gives us 2x dx equal to dt or we can say that x dx is equal to dt by 2. Now thus this integral is equal to integral of 1 by 2 dt by t. This gives us 1 by 2 log of t where t is equal to x square plus 1 and thus we have the value of this integral as 1 by 2 log of x square plus 1. Now we have found the value of this integral. Now in order to evaluate the value of this definite integral the thing to be done is to put the upper limit and the lower limit in this obtained integral. Thus we have the value of this integral as 1 by 2 log of 10 minus log of 5. This gives us 1 by 2 log 10 by 5. Or we can rewrite it as 1 by 2 log of 2 or log root 2. Thus we have evaluated the value of this definite integral 
with lower limit 2 and upper limit 3. We are going to consider another definite integral with lower limit 0 and upper limit pi and the function is 1 divided by 5 plus 4 cos x which is to be integrated with respect to x. Now in order to evaluate this integral we suppose t equal to 10 x by 2. This implies that dt is equal to 1 by 2 sec square x by 2 dx which can be written in terms of t which is equal to 10 x by 2 equal to 1 by 2 1 plus t square dx and cos x can be written as 1 minus 10 square x by 2 divided by 1 plus 10 square x by 2 in terms of t that is 10 x by 2. This is equal to 1 minus t square divided by 1 plus t square since t is equal to 10 x by 2. Here when x is equal to 0, t is equal to tan 0 which is equal to 0 and when x is equal to pi, t is equal to 10 pi by 2 that is t tends to infinity. Therefore, the definite integral with lower limit 0 and upper limit pi is equal to integral with lower limit 0 and upper limit infinity and the function is 2 divided by 1 plus t square into bracket 5 plus 4 into 1 minus t square divided by 1 plus t square. This gives us the definite integral of the form with lower limit 0 and upper limit infinity 2 dt divided by 5 1 plus t square plus 4 into 1 minus t square. This further simplified into the form of definite integral with lower limit 0 and upper limit infinity and the function is equal to 1 divided by t square plus 9 which is to be integrated with respect to d. This gives us value of 2 by 3 10 inverse of t by 3 with limits as 0 and infinity. On application of these upper and lower limits, we have the value of this integral equal to 2 by 3 into 10 inverse of infinity by 3 minus 10 inverse of 0. This is equal to 2 by 3 bracket pi by 2 minus 0. This gives us a value of pi by 3. Thus the value of the definite integral with lower limit 0 and upper limit pi and the function is equal to 1 divided by 5 plus 4 cos x which is to be integrated with respect to x is equal to pi by 3. With this we conclude this lecture on integrals which was based on definite integrals, the evaluation and some problems that were based on determining the values of definite integrals.